Lord, we come to you, Lord, thanking you for the amount of things that we have. Lord, as we struggle in this world, Lord, and we think of the material we have, Lord, let us think about the things that we truly have, Lord. We have salvation, Lord, that was not of our own. We have grace, Lord, that was not of our own, Lord. We have mercy, Lord, that was not of our own, Lord. We have a risen Savior that was not of our own, Lord. We have blood that is shed for us, Lord, that was not our own, Lord. We have a place being prepared for us, Lord, that was not of our own, Lord. We have everything given to us, Lord, as you have been the great provider at all times, Lord. And you continue to give and give and give, Lord, and we just have to think about what we truly have, where we may have material on this world, Lord, but it does not stand up to what we have in eternity, Lord. We may have wealth on this world, Lord, but there is no wealth greater than knowing Jesus, Lord, and that is the true wealth, Lord. We may think we have it going on in this temporal world, Lord, but we would rather be in glory, Lord, praising your name and lifting you up, Lord, knowing that we have it going on for eternity, Lord. So I call upon you today, Lord, just thanking you for how much you have given to us, Lord. For the things that we overlook, Lord, and the things that we see, Lord. For the things that we don't see, Lord. For the things that we think are just supposed to happen, Lord. We thank you for them today, Lord. We give out our arms, Lord, praising you, lifting them up, thanking you for protecting us, Lord. For providing for us, for loving on us, for caring on us for having compassion, for long-suffering and forbearance, Lord, the things that you continue to give us so that we may get right. Lord, we thank you today again in the mighty name of Jesus for all of the things that you continue to give us, Lord, and we overlook. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.